I am Dr. Vidya Sasuthi, Specialist Gynecologist in Astra Clinic, Alnada, Dubai. Today I am going to talk about a very interesting topic that is Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. There is a lot of confusion between Polycystic Ovaries and Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Having Polycystic Ovaries does not mean that you have Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Only 6-7% to of the ladies with Polycystic Ovaries develop Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. How do we diagnose Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome? To diagnose Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, you should meet two of the three following criteria. Irregular or infrequent menses or no menses, signs of androgen excess like excess facial hair, acne or oily skin and polycystic ovaries on ultrasound scan. Why is it important to diagnose Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome? PCOS not only causes menstrual irregularities, it can also affect your fertility, body weight, and can cause some long-term health issues like diabetes, hypertension, high blood cholesterol. There may be also a slight increase in risk of endometrial cancer in later life in these people. What is the cause for polycystic ovarian syndrome? The exact cause of polycystic ovarian syndrome is not known. It can run in families. If your mother or sisters have polycystic ovarian syndrome, there may be slightly higher incidence of getting you polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is because of the abnormal hormones that causes these clinical manifestations. Excess insulin or insulin resistance can cause excess androgen or male hormones which are responsible for the clinical, biochemical and the metabolic consequences of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Is there any cure for polycystic ovarian syndrome? There is no cure for polycystic ovarian syndrome but we can treat the symptoms. What is the treatment for polycystic ovarian syndrome? The treatment is individualized. The first and foremost treatment is lifestyle changes. Eat healthy, exercise regularly and maintain an optimal body weight. Those who are overweight or obese are advised to lose some weight. Even 5-10% to reduction in body weight can bring about significant changes in the patient's symptoms. Those who have menstrual irregularities are given birth control pills or progesterone pills. Those who face fertility problems are given ovulation inducing medicines with or without insulin sensitizing agents. Sometimes a surgery called laparoscopic ovarian drilling is done to improve the fertility in some patients. Since these patients are more prone for diabetes, hypertension, high blood cholesterol in later life, it is advisable to get screened for these conditions either by your GP or gynecologist. Those who have menstrual irregularities are advised to consult your gynecologist, check for your endometrial thickness and get some pills to have bleeding to avoid the risk of endometrial ca cancer in later life. We will treat you well.